Oh, nom, 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 nom. Another day to live through. Better get started. And what the heck is that in my tent? Is that a, a squirrel? Squirrel, get out of here. Holy cow. What are you doing in my tent? I thought I felt something fuzzy and warm last night. Sleeping? Yeah. Certainly wasn't Kelvin here. <laughs> All right, Kevin. We got, we got work to do, buddy. I want you to start collecting logs and fill up the holder. All right. We've got a brand new holder waiting for you. So get to work. What time is it anyway? It's early in the morning here. 7.45, day 7. What are you looking at? There you go. Uh, yeah, so welcome back to Sons of the Forest. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. And thank you for all the likes, the feedback, the comments, etc., etc. Keep them coming. Good morning, dear. I don't need to eat you today, I don't think. Do I? I don't know. What do we have here for breakfast? We got some cooked meat. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. And we'll just jump into the pond and take a swig. Mmm. Fresh. Look at that creepy armor that we got in the cave yesterday from the mutants. So, yeah. We're going to go back in that cave because we didn't finish it. But we're not going to do that today. Because I think since it's day 7 already and the trees are changing. Look at this. Fall is coming. Uh, actually, winter is coming too. <laughs> so, we need to get a base. A solid base. Because I'm kind of tired of waking up with the furry foresty creatures every morning. What are you tripping on, pal? There's nothing there. Tripping over your own two feet. I see. So yeah, let's get started on a base and let's get working quick here. So um, Kelvin has... Wow! Jeez. Watch where you're going, buddy. Has some space in those holders. So what I wanted to do is do like a 4x4 four four, um, base from here leading from this trap over in this direction. But I think we have to build from the top down. See that there's a little bit of a, an incline here or decline, depending which way you're standing. <laughs> so what we need to do is put this like around over here up top and then work our way down toward that trap. And that doesn't look like it's a good angle. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, maybe like right here. So, I'm just going to eyeball it and see how this ends up. But yeah, as we put the logs going down, they should raise up automatically. Yeah, just like that, it raises up the ground. So, the building here is actually pretty good. And I like that you get everything back. If you don't like something, you just pick it up and you get the whole kit and caboodle right back. Because some games don't give you the 100% back, do they? Um, so that, that looks like it might work. Now, we do have to come this way. Oh, Kevin! That's not how the logs go in, buddy. You gotta lay them down. Horizontally. Crazy. Yeah, that bump on his head, right? Yeah, I love how it lifts up like that. So it should be nice and level. It's a little post underneath. So, and this is just gonna go all the way over here. And leave space between the base and the pond to put some more traps. I'm thinking maybe a trap in each corner. And I do know that the pond will freeze in the winter. And uh, cannibals can walk right over it. So this isn't really going to um, stop them from getting from our base. That's not the point. The point is to funnel them over here where the traps are. And Like I said, we'll have traps all around the base. This is going to be relatively small. Oh, is that a... Oh, oh it's a hummingbird. It's beautiful. Where'd he go? Oh, that's so cool. It's hummingbirds. Didn't know that. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to have a perimeter wall around the base as well to keep all the cannibals out. Pretty sure they can climb, but we can make spiked walls to keep them out. Let's get rid of some of this garbage right here. One other thing I wanted to do this morning is get a drying rack going while we're doing the building. So maybe we should do that. <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> Although I want to keep these logs coming. I want to keep Kelvin busy. I'm just keeping my eyes open for Virginia. I haven't seen her in a while. I hope she finds us here. I mean, she's been here once before, hasn't she? But we do want to befriend her. So maybe she'll come by today as we're building our base. So let's just finish this up. At least the foundation. 4x4. Four four, get the frame done. And then um, we'll make a drying rack. I have to go collect some sticks, though. Because we're a little bit short on the sticks. Is that 4x4? Four one, two, three. No, go one more. 
on more and then over this way and that rock is going to be right in the way isn't it i guess it doesn't matter all right cool excellent yeah that should work out pretty well so the idea is to be in the base here we're going to put a floor up it will be a little bit higher and we can reach through windows and reset the traps all the way around and of course we will set up like i said a perimeter wall uh, with some spikes and we'll have all kinds of defenses available to us. Oop, Kevin's getting a drink. One quick drink, pal. Five minute break. This is not a union job, you know. Wow. Already taking a break. He just started. Alright, let's at least finish this section. Grab that vertical log and log holder. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Now, let's make a drying rack so we can get some of this meat drying in fact we might want to get hold on buddy no, come back come back this way yeah see we don't we want to make sure there's not a lot of space between the house and the trap so i think that's going to work out and we'll put another one right here in fact can we do that first we should probably do that first let's go to traps traps um this is a nice one because it has a molotov in it and it burns but i think we're just going to use the basic old whatever this is called a uh, slapper the slapper. Let's put a slapper down. Oh, here comes a turtle to check out the slapper. Oh, we need more sticks. Holy cow. Can we get sticks from logs? Like, can we chop them up? I don't think that's possible. So I gotta run around the forest here and collect a few sticks. What is that? <laughs> it's just some crazy physics. It's kind of cool, actually. Yep. All right, let me grab some sticks, and we will get the drying rack and the trap finished up. Give me a second. This is going to take a moment here, chopping down the little saplings. Now, as far as I know, the trees will grow back where the stumps are, but we don't want the stumps too close to the house. All right, there we go. We should have enough sticks for that just to finish this up. We have a rope. There we go. Excellent. Yeah. And then this one here. It's all set. Is that... Turtle, what are you doing? The turtle's sleeping next to the trap. All right. Now, let's make a drying rack over here. And clear some of these ferns out of here. So we can see the ground. And we're going to need more sticks for this. I believe it takes... It's like 13 sticks for a drying rack. That's a lot. I don't know if these sticks respawn or not. I hope so. Got to get out of this tent. Been sleeping in this tent for a whole week. We need a nice, permanent, solid base. I don't know how safe it's going to be. To be honest. Oh, oh, there's Virginia. She's here. Hi, Virginia. Sweet Virginia. Would you like some squirrel? I, she does eat meat. I've seen her eat it right off the ground. So <laughs> Let's see if we can entice her with some fresh squirrel. Oh, is that turtle dead? That's why... Yeah, oh, he's dead. Okay. Well, I've never had any turtle before. Or maybe in a soup. Oh, look at that creepy armor. Nasty. What do you think she's going to think of us in this creepy armor? I'm going to leave this squirrel for her because she, she likes squirrel. Kevin, don't scare her away, dude. No, no, don't. Oh, okay. He's, he's doing fine. Because if he chops a tree the wrong way, it's going to come back and break our our uh, foundation here. Because he, he can direct these things. Okay, let me help you. And try not to kill the girl. Sheesh, this guy. <laughs> Virginia, come over here. We've got some meat for you. Yeah, squirrel meat. I mean, yeah. I hope she didn't take that the wrong way. <laughs> All right. Now, let me just... I got to keep Kevin working here. So, I'm going to put some logs in. In the foundation. This is going to be... We'll make a smaller living area on the inside for now. Oh, sorry, turtle. Just squashed him. Just disappeared, actually. Yep, it's still empty. Keep coming. So we'll have, like, an interior section here. And we'll, we'll live in here temporarily until we can finish the whole thing out. We'll flesh the entire base out over a period of time. There she is, just kind of taking a walk on the other side of the pond. She's kind of feeling us out, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to save it again. And I, and I had a comment. Thank you for all the comments, the likes, the feedback. The tips, etc., etc. It's all very much appreciated. Um, but somebody uh, was concerned about my my frequency of saving. They thought that maybe it was taking away from the 
tension and the risk involved in the game. Um, but I'm only saving it because it's a buggy game. I've had some things disappear on me already, and I don't want to have to redo. I don't have to. I don't want to have to. I don't want to lose progress. Essentially, is what I'm trying to say. I don't like losing progress to bugs. I mean, if I die. I will uh, take it like a man. We'll just deal with it. <laughs> but that's not why I'm saving. I'm saving because of the bugs. So let's find this drying rack here. And we'll put a drying rack right here. I mean, eventually we're going to put a drying rack inside our safe wall over there. But for now, I want to get this meat going because it's much better than the cooked meat. Oh, gosh. Got all these limbs in here. I forgot about that. Let's throw the raw meat on the rack we've got turtle uh no not an arm <laughs> rotten fish rotten 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 the rest of that stuff's rotten we're gonna have to drop it on the ground but i think we can get rid of the body parts on the fire that's what i was told i don't want to carry them around in my backpack well, i love how the legs just stick up straight like that it's like someone fell into the fire <laughs> Oh, Kevin, it's, it had to be done. I'm sorry Kevin's running away. Like, there's something wrong with this guy. <laughs> you finally figured it out, huh, Kevin? What's he going after? Oh, just a log. All right. Sorry, turtle, but you got to go, bro. It just disappears. It doesn't actually get squished, which is interesting. Yeah, legs sticking out of the fire. What is wrong with this game? <laughs> okay, let's put the cross beams here, and then we can fill in... The rest with the flooring, and we can do that with full logs. Chop them up right in our hands. Just look down, and it's doing that funky thing. And we slice it in our hands. We get, we're gaining strength by doing this, too, by the way. So our melee damage will be greater. So we're getting stronger. It's like uh, Conan. And Conan... Oh, hi! Oh, Virginia, she's got something for us. Okay, stand still. Everybody stand still, knack natural. And just knack natural. Or act natural, whatever. Uh, I can't even, I'm stammering. I can't even talk. No, 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 no. Uh, is it the creepy armor? Uh, it's just elephant skin anyway. Although maybe she doesn't like that either. <laughs> okay, fine. It's mutant skin. No more lies. No lies between us, Virginia. But mutants are bad anyway. They had it coming. They don't set off the traps, NPCs, so that's good. <laughs> don't mind the legs in the fire. Help yourself. I know you like meat. What is in there? Oh, there's a bird eating from our fire. There's a big bird. It's a bird of prey. A raptor. Oh, what do you have there? Are oh, those berries? I love berries. How did you know? <laughs> oh, oh, she giggled. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, she's so shy, but so nice. I'm going to eat these right now. They're gone. She dropped them in the shelter and they disappeared. Isn't that weird? All right, um, but they, they were delicious, thanks. Though that is our second lie to Virginia. Okay, that's the last lie. All right, let's keep going here. Keep Kevin busy. He's supposed to say timber, pal. You know that, right? He can speak. He just can't hear, right? I think. I don't know. Now, can he get those logs in the pond? I'm not sure. Look at her go. Man, she can really book with those three legs. It's a good thing. That way the mutants won't catch her. <laughs> I'd hate to lose Virginia. As far as I know. The, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Hi. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Sorry, Virginia. I didn't mean to throw my wood at you. Uh, I meant to drop it. You just slipped. Sorry. Don't don't run away. Yeah, she's going to hang around the camp now. I think um, we're, we're gaining trust. Am I in the circle of trust yet? I'd like to be. We can be friends. Oh. Okay, bye. She'll be back. They always come back. Well, sometimes. Um, you know what we should do? Oh, gosh. We should give her a tracker. I have an extra tracker. But I can't give it to her yet until we're friends. Once we're friends, then I can give it to her. I can't... Can I squeeze that in there? Yeah, we can. Oh, look at that. I even knew where to go. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, we missed a spot here. There we go. There she comes. She's coming back and she's got something. It looks delicious. Is that a salad? Oh, I love salad. Just drop it here. Oh, thanks. Oh, we haven't even identified this plant yet, but we have to eat it to gain trust. Delicious. Whatever it was. We trust you, Virginia. It was like kale or something. Very, very healthy. 
All right, enough fun and games. Let's get back to work and try to get some more of this done before nightfall. These days, they go by so darn fast. Uh, oh, that's not where I wanted it. Um, I just wanted two right here so we can come over here and reset the traps from the interior. Can we reach that one? Yeah. All right, cool. What we're going to do now is start where... Whoa, where are you going? You want to check out the floor? It's pretty good, right? Nice and flat. And he did get the logs out of the pond. I'm very impressed with your work. He's pretty good at this. Gotta say. Oh, grab that. Give me the feathers. Yeah, missed. Do we need more meat on the drying rack? I think so. Got a little rodent. Are you the one that slept in my tent with me last night? Well, it's the rack for you, pal. To the rack with you, you little stinker. I don't know how long this takes, but probably a day, maybe two. Look at it dripping. Blood, that's kind of cool. Oh, we have another hook here for another volunteer. How nice. All right, let's keep working. I want to get at least the center part done here. And we'll get some walls up, and maybe we can sleep in here tonight. So we don't have to sleep in that silly tent anymore with our fuzzy little forest critter friends. We need some posts on the sides. Whoa! Oh, gosh. See? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is why I save often. It's not because I'm afraid to die or I'm afraid of a challenge. It's because I could... This! All right, I can get out of here. I can. I think I can get out of this one, though. Okay, that was just luck. You know what? That worked out fine because I wanted that here anyway. And that, that mistake won't happen again. I won't be able to get... I won't get squished down in that little space. Thanks for the help, Kevin. Appreciate it. He just walked right by us in that hole, didn't he? All right, now we're going to start putting in some walls. Now, the uh, cannibals can climb pretty well. This is not going to stop them. Even if I put walls, they can climb right over the top. Unless we make spiked walls, as far as I know. Which I doubt we're going to get to today. But we can at least get started on this um, interior portion. Timber! I got to say it for him. Hey, Virginia, come on over. Got some squirrel. Oh, there it is now. Nice and fresh. Come and get it. Oh, it's a deer. Well, same thing. Just a little bigger. Cool. More meat for the rack. Yeah, we're going to get a ton of food here. And hide. And they're going to be setting off these traps every, every minute or so. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Because we want the traps to kill the mutants. But we'll, we'll put traps all around the base. That won't be a problem. And the cannibals, of course. I, I'd say mutants, but it's to me it's interchangeable. Mutants, cannibals, whatever. They're all the same to me. Rotten fish. I'm going to recook these things. Sweet Virginia's not getting any closer, is she? She's kind of keeping her distance. But she'll come around. I'm hard to resist, you know, like that. No, I don't want the bone. Pick up the meat, bro. Rotten meat cooks really fast, so like 10 seconds. We gotta pick it up quick. Oh, that's done. That is definitely done. Oh, all these dang bones. We need to make a bone shelf or container. I'm pretty sure we can do that so we can get rid of these darn bones. They're just in the way all the time. And I think that's gonna be a general theme here. Surprised the mutants haven't come around today. Oh, there's that little hummingbird. Oh, oh, shouldn't do that in front of Virginia. She probably loves hummingbirds and deers. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was a hummingbird. I swear it looked like a wasp to me. I was trying to kill it because I'm, I'm allergic. I'm allergic to wasps. Yeah, that's it. It's true. Would I lie to you, Virginia? She doesn't believe me. I wouldn't either. <laughs> uh, burnt fish. Great. Cooked. Burnt. Can we drop the burnt? Can't even drop it. We have to wait until it rots before you can drop it, which is just darn silly. Oh, help yourself. We got some roadkill here. Virginia, what do you like? We got some venison. We got squirrel. Oh, not yet. She's not ready yet. No, you can't eat Kevin. <laughs> and now we have some bird. All right, she's coming back. I'm just going to stand still. That's what you do. She's going to sit. Oh, no, she's eating. Okay, she's eating something. Is that the squirrel? Yeah, help yourself. It's yours, okay? Anything. Just help yourself to the fridge. Whatever's here, 
It's yours. And there she goes. All right, let's get, let's get back to work. Kevin, you're doing a fine job, but you seem to be slowing down. Can you get more logs faster, please? Whoa! He's running around crazy. Is there is there are there cannibals? Are you just playing? Are you just playing? Oh, that's funny. Oh, there is a cannibal. Okay, get ready, everybody. Let's set up the traps. Hey, hey, you, big man. Leave her alone, jerk. Yeah, come get me. Run, run. Virginia. Oh, wow. Okay, that knocked me down. I can't believe you kicked Virginia. A helpless little girl. That's like stomping on a kitten. You big bully. What do you think about that? Oh, wow. Okay. You knock me down, I knock you down. <laughs> Jeez, that's two arrows in the face. And now three. Uh, okay. Is Virginia safe? That's all I care about. Is she gone? All right, I think we got him. Four arrows in the face. That's what you get, pal, for hitting a girl. Grats. GG. Maybe do better, huh? Reflect on that. What a loser. He's gone now, Virginia. You okay? Whacked her with a club. That wasn't very nice. Oh, gosh. Oh. You're kicking, you're kicking the bunny rabbit? She's so mad now. I'd be mad too. Look at the blood all over her. Is that your blood? Oh. Can I give you something? I can give her something. Wait. Wait, come back. I can give her a gun? I can give her a gun. I'm going to give you a tracker. Oh, achievement unlocked. Every move you make. I'm watching you now, girl. What the heck's going on around here? Okay, now I can. Now I know where you are. I can keep you safe, okay? If you get into trouble. I won't ever let that happen again. Big meanie. He's dead now, okay? <laughs> now we have her trust. Should I give her the gun? I mean, I kind of need the gun. If I give it to her, can I get it back? Here, take a gun. Protect yourself with the, that arm. Yeah. All right. We need to get her some armor, too. We can get it down at the beach. So maybe we should do that. Yeah, clean up. Get that blood off. That could be the squirrel blood. Whoa! Now, does she need ammo? Because the gun has some ammo in it, but... Well, at least she has good muzzle discipline aiming in a safe direction. That's great. Good job. Now, let me check your trigger discipline. Keep your trigger finger off the trigger. Wow. Looks like Virginia's got some firearm safety training in her background. Oh, more cannibals coming. Lots of them. That's okay. Because we got we have traps. We're going we're gonna to watch this work right here. All right. Oh, they're looking at their big friend in the pond. He hit a woman. You deserved it. All right, get that gun ready. Where's Virginia? Maybe I should get the gun back. I don't want her shooting them. I'm gonna, I want to use. I want. I want the traps to do their thing. Virginia, I know. I know you have a gun. I know you like it. <laughs> Still covered in blood, but I think I'm gonna take that gun back. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, but. We have, a, we have a test to do, and we have some volunteers. I don't want you shooting the volunteers. Kevin, come here. Kevin, stop. Kevin, Kevin. Right now, I just want you to follow me, buddy. All right? Yes, we're testing. We're going to test out our traps. I can keep Virginia safe. She does not need a gun right now. Come on over here, pal. Might as well keep working. Now, hopefully, we can funnel them over here to the trap somehow. What's this guy doing? Oh, open the tree. This is no time for monkey business. Come down here and test my traps. Oh, hi. Yeah, I see him. Over here, buddy. Hey. Hey, focus on me, okay? Yeah, yeah, over here. Oh. Don't you touch my cap. Hey. Stop. You leave Kevin alone. What? Come after me. I'm your man. Why are they all going after Kevin? All right, one guy. Hey. He did. He got him. Kevin, get behind me. <laughs> Kevin, get out of the way. I don't want to stab Kevin. I'm just jumping around. Yeah, knock him down. Kevin, behind you. Oh, right. Kevin's dead. Come follow me now. Come over here. Come over here. Got one on the ground. Yes! It worked! <laughs> now I need... <laughs> Stop! Get off, Ke get off, Kevin, would you? 
Okay, when this is done, when the base is done, this shouldn't happen. Knock him back down. Um, because we want them to... We sink... This is... You don't live here. Get out of here, you squatter. Get out. Okay, well, at least we know the trap does work somewhat. Oh, grab his wallet. <laughs> and then let's get rid of the bodies. All right, so the trap works. It doesn't look like they can squeeze between the shelter and the trap. So at least we know that much. That's important. But obviously we need to figure out a way to somehow funnel them over there. Make that spot more attractive. I thought they'd chase me, but they went after Kevin instead. So I'm thinking maybe if we put the doorway here, that might be an attractor. Oh, hi, there's a big guy. Come on over, buddy. You, you, you just missed your friends. They just left. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they just left. They were here, but they had other things to do today. So, yep. They're gone. Yeah, come over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Get off the building. Oh, hey. Okay, we got to get him down here somehow. <laughs> okay, now he's over there. He just shouldered the building. Yeah, we need traps all around this thing, and we'll get there eventually. It's just going to take a little time. I don't want to shoot him. I want him to walk into the trap. Come get me. Fresh meat. I killed your friends. Yeah, well, he'll come back. Kevin, go take a break. Take a break, buddy. All right? Just stay out of the way. Uh, you're not You're not doing what I think you're doing. Ke Kevin, I said take a break. I didn't say go after. Th All right, here he comes. Kevin's going to run to the other side. Oh, rope. Oh. Hey! He's trying to knock his... No, it's my shelter! Leave it alone. I just built it, man. Oh, gotcha. Oh, no. His head on my floor. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I have a head. How do I drop it? I mean, I know I can put it on a spike, but I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm going to throw it in the fire. Can I do that much, at least? Yeah, just get rid of it. Raw head. Nice. Okay, well, we know the traps work. And they're extremely effective. They just barely touch the trap. And they get, uh, they get annihilated. So, that's good. The hard part is to get them over to the trap. Because it seems like they want to... Whoa. Oh! It's Virginia. Hi, Virginia. I didn't know you were there. Where'd you come from? What were you just eating? You. Yeah, clean that off your face, girl. Wow. Here. Let me let me give you some light so you can see what you're doing. She is washing the blood off of her body. With all three arms. We're going to do something about that, okay? We got an extra leg and an extra arm. I think we can help you with that. I know a good um, dermatologist or something. Yeah. Okay, we'll get you back home. Get you all fixed up. In the meantime, just stay with us and we'll keep you safe, okay? That's a good girl. She doesn't talk either, sadly, so I don't know what's on her mind. But at least now, I think we're in the circle of trust. We're friends. So that's important. Alright, um, Kevin ran off. And why won't the flashlight go down? See, bugged. Now I can't put the flashlight away for some reason. There we go. Uh, bring up the map, and Kevin is in the woods. <laughs> oh, great. Well, I'm going to continue working through the night here with or without Kevin, and uh, we will continue probably in the next episode. I think we're out of time here, my friends. we got quite a bit done on the base. There's obviously a lot more to do. But it's going to take a lot of time and effort. Um, and I'm going to have to go get... i got to go fetch Kevin. I can't leave him out there by himself. And I think um, we're going to have to make a bone storage. Because this is ridiculous. There's going to be bones everywhere. till we get rid of them. Alright, let's go find... Oh, there's Kevin. Kevin, come on back to camp where it's safe. I said take a break. I didn't say run away. 
You okay? You're looking fine. All right, now follow me. Now, can we tell Virginia to follow us? I, I don't think so. I think she just kind of does her own thing. And that's fine. I like an independent woman. Just do what you do, girl. Just stay safe out there, okay? Maybe I should give her the gun now. Wait a minute. I'm going to give you the gun, right? I think you need this more than I do. You can give her a shotgun eventually. So that's kind of cool. But. I guess we're not, we're not on good terms yet. Hmm. She's still a little bit frightened of me. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the creepy armor. <laughs> uh, could be. All right, Kevin, come on back. Oh, she's here. She's still hanging around. Yeah, I am going to put Kevin to work right now. Kevin, I want you to get some more logs and fill the holders because they're looking, looking mighty dry. Yeah, can you do that? Good work, man. And I'm going to work through the night, and we will pick up right here in the next episode, and hopefully we'll have some more work done here. Virginia's on patrol. Fantastic. All right. You want to sit down here and have a chat? I think we're friends now, right? Are we friends? Good. Uh, well, she's got the gun now, so I think she's feeling a little safer. Oh. Back on patrol. Okay. Let me know if you need a backup. All right. I think we are going to call it quits right here, my friends. It's kind of dark and late, and we are done for now. At least until... Whoa! Where you go with that thing? <laughs> Actually, can I just take that off your hands? Nope. And uh, we're going to work through the night and try to get some of the walls done. At the very least. So hopefully by tomorrow night we'll be able to sleep inside this shelter. Yeah, before you go, here's the idea with the traps, right? So let's get out our axe. And I think I can chop some of this out. Chop. Yes! Look at that. Pretty cool stuff, right? And I can reach right through and reset the trap. Boom. Haha. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wait. What happened? Oh, that piece of wood's down there. All right. Let me grab that wood. There we go. Yep. A little bit of wood here. Just set it off. But we can throw that there and get it out of the way. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty awesome. I'm very excited for our new base. So with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. See you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You're supposed to say timber, Kevin, so no one gets crushed. I know you can talk. You just can't hear. <laughs> and off he goes. Virginia, come over here. We've got some meat for you. Yeah, squirrel meat. I mean. Hi. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Sorry, Virginia. I didn't mean to throw my wood at you. Hey, Virginia, come on over. Got some squirrel. Oh, there it is now. Nice and fresh. Come and get it. What do you like? We got some venison. We got squirrel. Hey! You! Big man! I can't believe you kicked Virginia. A helpless little girl. That's like stomping on a kitten, you big bully. Here, take a gun. Protect yourself with the, that arm. Yeah. She is washing the blood off of her body with all three arms. We're going to do something about that, okay? I know a good um, dermatologist. Now, can we tell Virginia to follow us? I, I don't think so. I think she just kind of does her own thing. And that's fine. I like an independent woman. Just do what you do, girl.